So I'm back and today we're going to take a look at the G1 Bone Crusher from the uh, Walmart exclusive reissue set. Um, so here he is in his vehicle mode. As you see he's just that front end loader. Nothing spectacular to go about here. Uh, he does have this bit which becomes the uh, forearm for Devastator. Uh, which has got the little drill thing, so it's got like the attack ability or whatever. Um, now, I don't know if this is supposed to be string spring loaded, but mine is not. It's not doing anything. Uh, so he's got a couple of attachments that you can put in there. Like it, it clicks in there just fine, but it doesn't actually launch, which is fine by me. And you got the fist. You can plug that in there, and again, it doesn't launch, but I mean, it actually keeps it in there pretty nice and tight so yeah uh, there's everything there uh, he also comes with a pistol um, no wheels on the treads so he's pretty much stationary uh, he does definitely look the part though you know young kids getting this would have a lot of fun you know driving that through the dirt uh, you know fun little toy uh, to transform him because there's really nothing else to it uh, you fold, oh, this does move up and down, so, in case you want that action ability. Uh, but yeah, you fold this up, fold the legs down, or fold the arms out first. Then the chest can come up, these will come down, this will fold up. You can rotate the arms down, like this, like this, flip the head up, like that, feet down and like that, like that, and there you go. Nothing much to him. Unlike Scrapper, he does not look much like the cartoon counterpart. Um, he, he really kind of fails. Um, there's not really much more I could say about it. I, I have nothing really positive to say about this robot boat. <laughs> it's pretty bleak. Um, arms do swivel up and down. Uh, you get a little bit of a outward hinge if you want to. Uh, head can look down. It's loose, but uh, like once you get into a place like here, it, it's fine. Or once you go all the way up, it's fine. Um, legs are attached. Uh, to this piece so they can both move backwards if you want uh, and then the feet I guess you can get a little bit of tilt on it yeah not much to say uh, s comparison here he is with scrapper uh, so you see they're about the same size uh, height wise uh, he seems a little bit wider and G1 Starscream and a seeker or chug seeker so yeah um, yeah I mean it's a it's a decent toy uh, it's not one of those ones that I would sit there and be like man I need to get <laughs> bone crusher uh, he's probably the weakest of the six I'd say so for what he is I would still not give him a high rating um, maybe a two out of ten uh, nowadays, I, I I wouldn't even give him. I wouldn't even scale him. I mean, he's he's such a. I would call it a waste of plastic if they we were to put something like this out now. Um, you know, thirty plus years ago, you know, it's it's an attempt but a fail. Um, like it's in the ballpark of like Ironhide, I'd say. Um, so not very great, but uh, he definitely is there. So. So yeah, um, yeah, I guess that's really all there is to him. Um, I know these videos are going to be short, but you know, what can we do?